So for this part, I'm going to go make an alteration from my, the original build. I'm going to make the uh, make a 90 degree head that'll stick off of the side here, about the same diameter as this base. Remember on the last one of the last videos, we made this burner tip of the Venturian side made this slightly shorter to reduce the uh, overall length because there are some warnings in the original build instructions about getting this tube too long. So we'll get on with that. So I'm going to start with this piece of half inch brass. I'm going to turn it down and we'll leave a half inch big piece for the transition, the 90 degrees. Turn this end down to the same diameter as the rest of the tubing, which is about three eighths of an inch. Drill a hole in from the middle. Get all the turning done today. The mill work will come on a future video. So I'm still experimenting with camera angles here. I'll find a different, little different angle. I'll squeeze the camera in. See how that how that turns out. Anyways, I'll start by uh, facing this off. Normal facing operation. Turn this down 3 8 diameter by about 9 16 long. Then we're going to part it off, leaving a, eventually part it off, leaving a half inch long piece at the full diameter of a half inch. I'm going to want to drill about a 300 thousandths diameter hole down the middle. They're not quite breaking out the back side. And then later on the mill, put an intersecting hole in this way, size to slide on top of the other burner piece. Should take care of that. Should be three eighths, which it is. I will put a hole down the middle of it. So 
So I've been debating whether to uh, pilot drill this or not. Well, we've got this 300 thousandths drill to go in here. Brass is awful grabby. It's not critical this is to be super concentric on center. And if it goes oversized a little bit, I'm not concerned about it. So at the risk of not having it grab, I think we're gonna I think I'm gonna run this drill in there. I want it to be just shy, just shy of an inch deep, seeing that this is 560 thousandths, 562 thousandths, plus the thickness of the scale. If I go one inch on my tailstock here, you shouldn't have a problem with being too deep. Started good. I'm afraid of it grabbing too. That should be an inch deep. Do a little chamfer job on this. Part it off. Sanity check. There we go. for that. Okay, we got it down there. Let's knock that little move off there real quick. Turning's done on that piece. I'm 
is the turning portion of it done. Hole down the middle. Next we'll put a hole in here on the middle to intersect that. Make it the same size as slip on the top of that 3 8 venturi piece we made. So I forgot one little detail that I just rectified here. This uh, need a little shoulder in there to hold the, the flame holder, a piece of screen. So that's about a 350 thousandths, 348 thousandths diameter by about a sixteenth of an inch deep. So the next step is we're going to make the needle assembly for adjusting the, the gas flow. Make it out of this piece of 3 8 rod here. We'll turn the outside first. We'll make a hose barb on the end. We'll drill a small hole in the hose barb and we'll flip it around and do some work on the other side. I don't need any real square shoulders in there, so I'm going to use this tool. So that'll also give a little bit of a angle on the shoulders there. Just over an inch and a half. Yep. The first diameter I need is 312. Take 40,000 off to get closer. Too hard on this long steam piece. The size of 312 isn't a critical size. The only thing critical here will be the final dimension on the, the main part of the body itself. It's the clamps inside the, uh, the vertical body. That's uh, 312, so that's pretty good. That piece is the size. So this next piece is, the, the diameter is critical. We've got to hit it pretty much at 249 to give it just a slip fit inside a quarter inch reamed hole. If it goes too far undersized, it'll, it'll leak. It's too far oversized, then a Of course it won't fit. So this one, this step up here wants to be quarter inch long. 
class here. Right? Run this first up this top side just to make a mark at the depth and, and cut cut from there. Should be a quarter inch. So it does. Then come back, start using the auto feed. 249 is the number. I'm just under three right now. Should be close there. A little more precision measurement. That's 255, almost 256. Take five thou off and sneak up on it. Could be getting some taper in there from the lathe too. This bed has got some wear in it, so I'm sure the tool's going up and down as it goes back and forth. But really, up up here is where it's important because this will be all a hose barn. It'd be nice to get the better this lathe you done, but someday. Till then, it works. So that's just a couple of tenths under quarter inch. I'm actually going to call that that good. I'll polish it a little bit, and it'll it'll bring it there. Two forty nine and three tenths. That's pretty good. So that'll take care of that. Last feature we're going to turn on this side is going to be the hose bar. So right now you know, the whole thing's an inch and a half. So. Okay, an inch to the shoulder, a half inch to there. Okay, we've got some turning to do. This diameter here is going to need to be 110. It's for a hose to slip on too, so. Now we're at 245. Let's rem remove some material.
110, so we're going to leave it there. So we need to put a number 59 drill down the middle of this. We'll start with a center drill. So I want to drill three quarter inch deep, 800 thousandths, three quarter minimum. So the flutes on my drill bit are three quarters of an inch long. So we bury the flutes in there. Should get what we want. Let's go a little faster with this little drill. Fastest speed we've got. There's no more to be had. Well, hopefully that'll do it. Now I gotta address. Address this hose barb. Use this parting tool. Use this parting tool, make them about a hundred thousandths apart. Yeah. Not too deep. Just kind of do it by eye. Fell on the diameter. This one's not much more than a tamper. Back to the same dimension. Real easy to break the end of this thing off. It's really flimsy. Got a hole in the middle of it. Here's something for the hose to bite on. Maintain everything fairly concentric to here. So I'm gonna, plus it's the longest diameter, so I'm gonna check up on that. Now I drill some holes. First thing we need to do is drill a drill a, a 128 0.128 hole. It's number 30, I believe. That needs to go down and 
end up that hole we poked from the other side. Broken through. So the next hole calls for a 205 or 316 D. I'm going to go with the 204 so that we know this drill is a little oversized because of the tailstock issues and the wear in the bed. So. Inch on my gauge there. It's probably oversized, but it needs to happen. Not bad, according to that. Right on science, but I'm surprised. Surprised as close as that. What happens here is make a small little threaded insert that goes in there. That's probably only an eighth, that's only an eighth of an inch long. And that leaves a gap down in there for an O-ring. That way you don't have to try to do an undercut in there behind those real fine threads. It's like a number 10, 80 thread per inch insert that goes in there. So. That about wraps it up for this uh, about wraps it up for this piece, so for the turning work anyways. Got the hole through there. Got the counter bore, the hose barb done. Hole in the end of there, so only other thing that need, needs to do on here is put this on the mill and put an intersecting hole at the right spot to uh, transfer the gas propane into the body of the burner. That'll be a job for another day.